Hey YouTube, I'm Bo Sonoris and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for this video, this will be centered around my new training split. I've been testing out this new training split for a couple weeks now for the new year and I've really enjoyed this. I think it's one of my favorites actually. That's why I wanna share to you in this video what this whole new training split is about, give you a couple reasons on why I like it. Um, what it is, it's push-pull legs. So push is your, you train your chest, shoulders, and triceps, pull, usually back, biceps, and then I throw abs in there as well, and then legs, so that's your glutes, hamstrings, calves, anything in your lower half. Previous to this training style, I used to do the bro split, so that was a single body part that I would train throughout the whole week, and I'd realize is it was, wasn't, I was kind of getting sick of it, I was kind of used to training for that, and I want to try something new, definitely for the new year, so I recommend, even if you don't do this new training style, switch up your routine, don't get caught up doing the same thing, because it's easy doing that and then quitting after because you just get sick of it because I know I can only do certain things for so long otherwise I get tired of it and just stop doing it. <laughs> okay the first reason why you should partake in this new training split is because it is a very easy training split to understand. It's push pull legs, easy as one two three. I know I had problems in the past when I do the bro split like I talked remembering when's the last time I trained legs or back was it three or four days ago what should I train now this eliminates that problem it makes it easy push pull it's hard to forget uh, between the three what you last trained and then so it's push pull legs off push pull legs off so that's usually how I do it and then another thing with it it was easy to skip legs what I noticed doing this is I enjoy training legs I think it gives you the optimal rest time between training legs I know your legs throughout my other body parts they don't get as sore as my legs and I'd always wonder how to space it out just enough so uh, they're good for the next leg day but this it's easy to follow along the program and your legs should be fine doing the push pull rest push pull rest or push pull legs rest push pull legs rest the second reason why this train split is the best is because you get to train your full body twice in a week and that's definitely hard to do and then usually with that I go heavier in the week so for my first push pull legs I go quite heavy and then I have that off day then I go push pull legs again but that's usually the lighter part of the week and why I do that is because it's good to switch it up like I said before because your body gets adapted to usually how you train Train. throw some variations in there as well nice thing about training later in the week uh, it's usually high repetitions with that and you could force a lot of good blood flow throughout those sore muscles and it would help reduce soreness okay the third reason it may I think this kind of how I centered around this video is it's a good training split if you have a busy schedule if you're busy with your work life school life uh, your wife and kids whatever it may be even if you only have three days to work out in the week which i know a lot of us do you can train your full body because it's just the push pull legs that's the nice thing about it you don't have to train seven days a week like some like the bro split to hit every body part uh necessary and then also with this, the push-pull legs, you don't have to go push-pull legs off. You can switch up the order if you want to do legs, pull, push, I know it sounds weird today. And then kind of what I do is I don't follow strictly to it, so I'll do push-pull legs. Most of the time I take an off day because I'm feeling pretty sore, but if I'm not, I have a lot of energy, I'll just go push-pull legs, probably go push again, and then... If I'm feeling tired or exhausted, my body is really sore, then I'll take an off day or keep it going. So it kind of just alters how you feel. So base it off of that. So it's not written in stone that you have to push pull legs off. So you could change it up, which is nice. So the fourth reason on why this training split is the best is because the high frequency with all the push pull legs and that high frequency promotes protein synthesis. And simply said, it is the synthesis of new skeletal muscle proteins. All right, now in this video, I wanted to give some examples of what a routine would be like doing push 
pull and legs. So I'll drop the different workouts. So here's three workouts you can try before doing this new training. Split to see if you like it. If you don't, do whatever you want. But I recommend doing this one. But here, boom, pop it up right there. So put, we have a push workout for you. So that's your chest. Then we're going with incline flies dips all chest now we're on a shoulder so seated shoulder press egyptian lateral raise and with the shoulders as you can see in this workout it works the anterior part of the shoulder later in the week we'll hit the posterior and then after that more shoulder superset bent over lateral raise now onto the triceps so that's tricep tricep skull crush and then you want to superset that with tricep push down and that concludes the push day now we're on to the pull workout i'll pop that workout on the screen i'd probably just screenshot this in the video so you can try it out and save it for yourself so starting off with wide grip pull-ups supinated bent over row wide grip lat pull down superset that with close grip lat pull down on a single arm db row barbell rack deadlift and lastly shrugs and if you have questions with any of these exercises i just recommend googling it and they'll show you a video of it or describe what it is and like i said with the pool i usually tag it with some abs so boom pop up an ab workout you can either split these in a day, do abs in the morning, at night do back, or you can cut down the sets on a couple of these because it is a lot, definitely. But for the ab workout, as you see here, hanging knee raise, knee crunch, ab roll out, superset that with lying windshield wipers, reverse crunch, and then a finisher if you want to burn some calories off, battle ropes, so that's when you're going like this with the ropes. And then we got the push pull now onto the leg. So we'll pop that workout right there. So you're gonna start off with squats, single leg, dumbbell lunges with leg extension, followed by a leg RDL, leg curls, shin raises. So a lot of people will train calves but not the shins. You wanna train also front part of your body along with posterior part of your body because if you don't, injuries will occur. Learned it the hard way. <laughs> But after that, we got standing calf raises, seated calf raises to finish it off. And yeah, so try these workouts. Do it for like the first three days in the week. Let me know how it goes. I, I'm pretty sure you'll like this. I First time I did push day, I loved it. Just feeling your chest, your shoulders, and your tricep. But yeah, try it out. Let me know how it is. But that basically sums up what I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'll drop my social media later on in this video so you can message me if you have any questions or concerns. But lastly, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the ring button, and I will see you in my next video, YouTube. Thanks again.